Welcome to Tone Script. Uh, today I want to talk about gastric surgery, uh, specifically gastric sleeve surgery, which I had done on August 16th, 2016. Uh, the date of this recording is September 21st, 2016. Now, on the day of surgery, I was 412 pounds, and as of today, I am 366 pounds. So overall, you could say I am very happy with the surgery. Um, there are a few little things, a little nagging points here and there that I may have issue with, but altogether, I'm very happy with it. Um, as far as getting the surgery done, it took about six months from the point of deciding to get surgery to go through uh, nutritionist program, which I would recommend for anyone thinking about getting the surgery. Um, it gives you six months to think about it. It also gives you six months of information, especially if you have a nutritionist who is well versed in what comes after gastric surgery, because there are a lot of changes, um, a lot of changes to yourself, a lot of changes to the diet you'll be having. And this is a rest of the life thing. Um, with gastric sleeve, for those who don't know, Basically, they cut your stomach into the shape of a banana. Um, gives you maybe eight, a little more than eight ounces, maybe, of space to work with. Uh, so it's something you have to get used to. Um, for me, there are a bunch of pluses, and I'm told this happens to a lot of people once you get the surgery because the portion of the stomach that they cut off is also the portion of the stomach that produces certain hormones. Um, your hunger pangs or your desire to eat actually goes away and that happened to me i don't get hungry at this point um you i'll feel an emptiness in the stomach i'll know it's time to eat it's it's very hard to eat actually what you have to eat and in my uh i guess research my going through youtube channels like a lot of people probably are right now before getting surgery i found people that had great experiences and I found people that had terrible experiences, people who ate through their surgery. And um, having a good nutritionist will help prevent that. Um, honestly, I don't see how you can eat through the surgery. It's, it's hard to eat what you, the amount that you need to eat. It's very hard. Um, you will, when your feet feel full, your stomach will feel full. You will feel an overflow and you'll have to stop eating, period. And for me, that point is a little more than four ounces at this point. Um, I eat a lot of salads. Um, I take vitamins, which I'll most likely have to do for the rest of my life. I drink protein shakes to get my protein in because you don't want a loss of muscle along with the loss of fat. Um, and protein drinks, look, protein drinks taste terrible there's no getting around it um there are some that taste better than others um i find a lot of them too sweet this is something that came with the surgery i i have problems now tolerating sweet foods uh they get to me they make me feel nauseous um other than that it's fine um drinking i only drink water now basically um, I used to, for about a, two years, I was drinking, I used to drink iced tea and soda all the time. And about two years ago, I cut it and I was drinking Crystal Light, which I enjoyed. Crystal Light tastes fantastic. But after the surgery, I couldn't really tolerate the Crystal Light. It's too sweet. It bothered me. This is something that happens. Your taste buds change. Things you can eat and enjoy, they change. You'll get used to it. It takes time. Um... The worst part of the surgery, honestly, first two days. They pump your stomach full of gas. It's painful. The doctor will tell you to walk to release the gas. And I recommend this. As soon as you can get up and walk, get up and walk as much as you can because it is a pain that you want to get up and out as soon as you can. This is the worst part of the surgery. The actual surgery is not that painful other than the healing of the cuts, not that bad. 
there are no nerve endings in the stomach lining when you get cut, so you don't feel that really. Um, it's the gas. The gas is terrible. I mean, when I was in recovery, there were other people from the program, and I'm glad I was not the only one who felt this way. It was terrible. Get up, walk as soon as you can. Um, eating food, in the beginning, you're going to get all kinds of weird cravings for foods. You just can't eat them anymore. There's no like McDonald's, sandwiches and stuff. Um, they recommend you not really eat bread early on because bread expands in your stomach. Bread generally really isn't that good for you. Um, my diet right now is basically a lot of salads, a lot of vegetables, about four ounces of chicken or beef. I don't really have a lot of beef that day. On a day, um, again, my protein shakes and water. Drink as much water as you can. You need to stay hydrated. Um, I personally, along with the multivitamins they give me, I take zinc, um, I take bio, a biotin, uh, because I'm very afraid of the uh, whole loose skin phenomenon. But as I see now I'm losing weight, it's going to be something I have to deal with. I don't really have a problem with it. it I'll get over it. Um, being heavy was it's terrible for me. Um, before surgery, I was diabetic. Before surgery, I had venous insufficiency with, for, basically, if you don't know what that is, it's the veins in your body, mainly legs, have problems forcing the blood back up. So because of it, you get a lot of swelling. And I had swelling in my legs, which is completely gone, about a little more than a month after surgery. It's completely done. So there's no more swelling. My diabetes is down. I'm being weaned off the medication. High blood pressure is actually low blood pressure now being weaned off that medication um so if you're my highest weight ever was 479 pounds and i never want to get there again um i've always been a big guy i've always teetered around i mean after high school i was around 2 to 20 and then later on in my life right now i'm 43 i had went up to like three and i stayed around three I worked for the post office, so it wasn't really that much of a problem. I walked all the time, did a lot of, a lot of walking, a lot of uh, cardio, basically, and I maintained at around three. And after an accident, of course, I blew up to 479. So 479 was my stopping point, and I don't ever want to be that heavy again. My goal is to be around 189, 200. That's where I want to be steady. Um, it's where I'll be happy. Now, for people who are looking into getting ga gastric sleeve or gastric bypass or any of these surgeries, I'll recommend it saying it's working for me. Um, I'm at about 5 to 10 pounds loss a week. Um, I'm walking a lot. I'm getting out there, clothes that haven't fit in a long time and starting to fit again, dropping fast. I'm very happy with it. If you're going out for it, like I said, I recommend going to a nutritionist that really knows about the surgery. I can't stress this enough. Enough. Look around for people, like just do a search on YouTube for gastric sleeve or gastric bypass failure and listen to what people say. It's very easy to sub substitute food for drink. And a lot of people are just blindly drinking their calories. They're blindly drinking their calories. And this is just as bad. Um, you know, they think they have to juice to get what they have to get in. That's a lot of calories. I mean, to make an apple juice fresh, you got to squeeze like five apples. No one eats five apples in one sitting. This is something you learn from your nutritionist. Same thing with oranges. A lot of uh, fruit juices are high in sugars that you really don't need. Um, please go to a nutritionist. A lot of people who fail, you'll hear, they didn't go to a nutritionist or they sped through maybe two or three nutritionist programs and they failed and it's terrible. Um, so do that. The sleeve, I went to the Montefiore Medical Center. They have a mandatory five to six month nutritionist visits. They teach you everything. They have support groups. It's great. Look for something like that. Um, the surgeon, that I had was fantastic. 
Uh, there were no complications with my surgery. <clears throat> if you're looking to have it done, please search around for what you will go through, watch the actual surgery, learn what you're doing. This is not something that is reversible. Um, once it's done, it's done. Half of your stomach is cut off. With sleeve, with the uh, bypass surgery, there's a lot of things that are rerouted. It's not something that's really that really can be undone. So if you're going to do this, it's a commitment for the rest of your life. Um, I plan on as soon as I can getting in the gym, uh, getting more workout. I feel like I can do it. I'm walking more than I have in a long time. I'm getting a lot more. I'm just getting a lot more out of day the day than I have in a very very long time. Um, I'm gonna stop it here. Basically, if you guys have any questions, you want to know anything, I'll feel, I'm happy to answer in a future post. Just please comment below, um, subscribe, and I'll try to update at least once a month as to what's going on. Uh, like I said, as, as much as I can stress this, please look into the surgery before you have it done. You want to be fully prepared. Um, it's not a fly-by-night thing. It's not, it's not a go as you, as you will. You need to know what you're doing. Um, other than that, it's fantastic. Um, please don't look at this as a failure on yourself because it's not. Some people need help. I felt like I was in a hole that I could not dig myself out of. And I needed to get the surgery in order to improve my health. I have a son I have to look after. I have family, and it was an important thing for me. Um, again, any questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer. Um, I'll answer directly, or I'll answer in a post. Thanks for watching, and be safe and be healthy. Take care.